Right, so apologies for the uh, the wobbly cam. Uh, I was looking for my uh, tripod, which I've just I just realised I've found actually. But anyway, um, it's uh, it's over there on my uh, workbench. Um, okay, so this is me trying to get back in the saddle on this. Uh, I've cleared most of the stuff uh, that has accumulated on the build table that is not aeroplane related off it. So that's good. Um, I don't think anyone watching will be surprised how quickly um, rubbish builds up, uh, mess builds up if you're not if you're not being very very careful. Um, so uh, where was I? Uh, yeah. So the last where I got to, I haven't rewatched previous videos. I think if I started trying to do that, as well as uh, trying to make progress, I think I'd I'd never ever get anywhere. So I have. Um, I'm just going to recover, I'm just trying to remind myself where I was, what was going on, uh, and um, how to go forward. So, um, I am satisfied that I now know where the end of the aeroplane is, and that is um, this line here, uh, 3985. So. Uh, I'm gonna saw. Uh, I'm gonna saw these off there. That's gonna be quite a big moment. Having, of course, uh, made sure that everything's properly, um, properly seated. Um, just, I'm not just gonna do it willy nilly uh, because it'll be wrong, and that'll be basically the end of the project. I don't, I don't think. I don't think I could really co recover from something that stupid. So yeah. So get, I'm gonna get these um, frames seated properly, and then I'm gonna make that cut. Um, that is based on the fact that I can see that these have been marked to accept. They've been marked so that you cut them. I can see there's another line there. You can base you basically cut these, and the the longer on sits into the into this um, keel post for the. Uh, no, it's not a keel post, is it? Is it stern post for the fin? And that. That essentially that defines the end of the aeroplane pretty much, or at least the fixed part. Then you've got the rudder on the back. So that's a good thing. I can double check that by taking some measurements off these parts to see where that part um, meets the top long run. Um, so that's that's a double check. Then that's good. Um, then we have the vex question of the, uh, and I'm sure I have talked about this before. We have the vex question of this curved part here um, I'm going to steam bend that I have some uh, tubing that I can uh, use um, I can use a wallpaper steamer feed one end of it with that um, I've got some copper tubing um, it's kind of 25, I think it's 25 mil diameter, so it's an inch diameter copper tubing, I think that might be, uh, that should be good enough to fit the piece inside that I need to curve. Um, now this is made up of two, it's kind of laminated out of two pieces, but the thinner part, the thinner part there, I think I can probably just bend, I think that will pretty much just bend naturally by itself. I don't think I need to steam bend that but I will definitely need to steam bend the this is essentially this is a 15 mil square section the main part there um, so uh, so I'm gonna need to steam bend that so my plan is to my plan is to set up on the on the build table where it all happens so it's going to be happening from sort of here and sort of curving over here it's hard to see uh, I'm gonna set up the blocks that I need similar to these um, to, to, to form the curvature that I need and um, uh, yeah that's gonna be uh, and I'm gonna have to make some of them ones that I can kind of clip in because I can't really bend it in there to make sure it fits first I don't think so um, set up maybe the top the top surface with little blocks and then the under surface will be will be kind of uh, um, sort of cammed ones that you can just crank in and lock it in place so then 
get it into to steam, let it steam for a while, um, whip it out, pop it in, and then clip it in and let it settle into that natural curve. I'm expecting that it won't obviously stay in that curve. Once I've taken it out, it's going to re relax it back a bit. But um, as far as I'm concerned, the important thing is that the curvature has been put into it so that when you do make it find that curve, um, it's not going to put it under too much stress. And then when it's laminated together with the bit on top, that will help to hold it into the right place. And furthermore, adding these other supporting pieces uh, will help. Um, what is the curve that we need to find? Well, we know that point, we know that point, we know that point, that point, that point, that point, and that point in theory. So I think that's enough to work it out. Um, the reality is that I'm pretty sure that that curve is designed to match the curve of the wing because that is that is where the wing is going to sit so the wing sits in here and the trailing edge sits there and the whole thing kind of so the wing basically kind of sits in there or more or rather the fuselage sits on top of the wing uh, and and there'll be some wriggle room I, I I I well if there isn't um yeah no there will be some wiggle room um so that if I don't get that curve precisely right um it's not the end of the world like as I, as in you know I think there'll probably be a, a few millimeters of tolerance to actually get it slightly wrong um and things will be okay um I'm probably making far too much of a meal out of this which is a bit frustrating but I don't know that yet. I'll find out that it, it isn't that much of a meal of it or thing, whatever. I can't remember. Oh, God. Um, I can't edit that bit out because I don't know how to do it. Um, yeah, no, I'll find out it's probably a lot less uh, complicated than I think it is when I do it. So that's that. Um, quite heartening to see. I kind of had, I'd kind of forgotten that I'd got all this, all this glued together and, and indeed I'd managed to do the other side. Um, uh, yeah that's right yeah I remember what I did now yeah but I butt glued it together because I remember there was the issue of um of how do you put the gusset how do you put these gussets on the underside so yeah now I butt jointed it together and then I retrospectively added the gussets so that's quite kind of almost quite a pleasant surprise there's no way on god's earth that I would have been able to do this from scratch like the, the gentleman who built all these parts I mean uh, I'm finding it that hard just doing it from what is a f very close to being a kit. There's no way I could have done this. It just would never have happened, ever, as bad enough as it is. So anyway, um, that's fine. Uh, the spoke to my inspector as well about this part, which is the bit at the front, bottom of, front at the bottom of the, um, of the cockpit. And we talked about it, and it's amazing what happens when you talk to someone about something. Suddenly, you start to realise what the hell's going on. And uh, yeah, so I've gone from I did I did wonder whether this part had been made quite quite accurately, um, but actually it has been made. It's been made fine. Um, it just needs some trimming down, probably retrospectively once I've got it fist in the fuselage with a very very sharp plane. I need to need to profile the bottom of this which means I need to sharpen my plane. Uh, so that's good. And I think that's about it. So, so the sticking point now, as I said in the previous one, is that the temperature is starting to drop. So um, uh, I've got some decisions to make. I need to, at the moment, I'm thinking that I favour the idea of, uh, the favour, I favour the idea of some kind of a, an enclosure to put over the table so I can raise the raise the temperature of the build area without having to raise the temperature of the whole workshop and um, this is actually quite a it's quite a thermally quite stable workshop but um, it will be a nightmare to try and get it at the moment to try and get it up to a decent temperature because there's just a lot of work I need to do on the structure um, and I just think I'm just thinking if I that it's so hard to get things done at the moment 
that um, that working on the uh, working on this structure to try and get it up to scratch. Um, you can see the ivy growing in there. Um, I think that would that would kill kill me. I just don't think I'd be able to. Uh, it would just take me so long to get around to doing that. But, uh, so I think I need to find, in the best possible way, I need to find a uh, an expedient solution to get the temperature of this area up so that I can actually do gluing. I mean, some bits. The, the problematic thing is that basically, well, it's a, it's brilliant, but the fact that the smaller assemblies have already been made means that there isn't really an awful lot left apart from big items that need to be done in a space like this. Um, so I need to find a way of keeping it all warm while I work on it. Problems, just problems, problems, problems. Yeah, and um, yeah, and just where, where, yeah, where all that time's going to come from, I don't know. But I suppose I'm out here now, so that's not a bad thing. Um, other things I'd like to do, and I'd be quite interested in making uh, videos about, is uh, making my synchronous clock work. Uh, so I, I did have it working at one point um, uh, using the uh, Bracknell time signal. Uh, so I was gonna, I need to get that uh, working again. It's, that is not the time. Um, I need to get it working again. I've got the modules I need to do the time signal thing and I've written the code and I have had it working, but it would be nice to go back over it, get it working properly and take you through it slowly for those of you who are interested in that kind of thing. It's quite cool. Um, it's got some mechanical issues, so uh, which I hope are just a matter of adjustment and, and aren't sort of uh, actually fundamental wear problems. So that's quite interesting. And I've got that wheel to build. So there we go. So there's a few more things in the offing. Anyway, um, yeah. Yeah, I think settle this down into its uh, into its little holders. Revise where things are on the plans. Um, try and try and sketch everything out on on the uh, on on the deck here and think about curving this piece. It doesn't look that curved from that angle, but actually from this angle. Um, and bearing in mind it's the same material, it's quite this stuff's pretty thick. Uh, it won't, it's not really, it's not going to really like being bent in that kind of, uh, that sort of even that wide radius. So, um, so it's going to be, it's going to be slightly challenging, but, um, but we'll do it. We'll do it, we'll do it eventually. So, there we go. So, that's just a quick update, another quick update. And um, and uh, I will. I think I'm going to try and do some marking up this evening, and then uh, and then um, I might. There might be so there might be a tiny bit more time at the end of this video just now, uh, while I've when I've got my head around it with the radio on, um, and then uh, yeah, we'll bloody well glue some stuff together, a bit more stuff. If I can just get, if I can just get this piece in, I can start putting these pieces in. This bit, this bit, and this bit, and this bit, and then, then I, then I'll have kind of something, and I, actually that that will be the point at which I'll probably be standing these pieces up. Whoa. Sorry, sorry, standing. Have I just gone upside down? Okay. I think that's better. So I'll be standing these up then, side by side, and starting to starting to fit things in between them and it will start to look like something real it's just this damn thing here that's just been it's just stalled me right out i'm i'm getting angry about it so i should not get angry i should just get on with it <laughs> don't get angry get on with it that's probably i think i want to make that the the motto of this whole project all right well i hope everyone out there is safe and well and uh, thanks if you have been for watching um as i say there might be a tiny bit more um, I might even cut the end off the plane just to feel like I've done something dramatic. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so here's the uh, the back end. Um, we're looking at this. Um, the bottom long one I think runs out to the end. The top one actually I think stops short and butts up against the um, 
up against the, the fin post, but I can work that one out later. So I'm going to cut it to that point anyway. So that means, you know, I can, uh, I can adjust it later. Um, so, and this depth here should be 300. So looking at it, we've got that. Uh, this is our line. I'll drop that on. And I've already marked it, but so I then did that, and so that's uh, well, we're, we're pretty much on it there. And then that is like literally the uh, width of a hair on a gnat's cock out, so that's fine. So, what I did was, um, uh, actually, what I actually did was this, I my set square. Set my set square up on that line like that. Bring that rule up against it there. Find the right place down here. And then um, draw my draw my line. So that should get us uh, an, a nice cut line at the end of the aircraft. So um, I have prepared my uh, my instruments so it's time for some fuselage surgery right i'm gonna do that now before i uh bottle out oh by the way just this has all been seated back into position so i need now i need to unseat it all to get it to the end of the table so i can actually get a decent cut on it um there's probably a better way to do that i don't know what it is and then i'll do the whole thing again for the other for the other side um because it should all fit into here albeit with um with the gussets on the bottom side but it should locate correctly and then i can do the same marking up process right okay time to use that okay here we go Done. Right, next one. There we go, done. Both rooms have got them side by side. Obviously they'll be separated by a certain amount of structure, but I've done it. There you go, chopped off. Um, uh, yeah, and although it probably doesn't look like it on the camera, it's pretty accurately, fairly accurately done. Uh, maybe a tiny bit of sanding just to square them off. Uh, a millimeter to play with um so there we go yeah i need to keep turning the radio off so i don't get a copyright strike but uh, uh which is slowing things down a little bit but yeah so that's done that's quite exciting i'm glad i've done something i'm gonna stop it's half past nine um i might uh no i'm going to I'll be positive i'm going to get this stuff uh try and get this stuff out now so i've got a little bit more to show for myself and it also means I can do a video about something else without people getting cross or frustrated or, or unsubscribing, uh, which would <coughs> which would have a very material impact on my uh, on my subscriber base right now. So yeah, okay, thanks very much, and uh, yeah, hopefully this will be going out kind of nowish, and uh, we will take it from there. But it's good. Uh, I was sitting on the sofa earlier with my daughter sticking uh, Peppa Pig stickers all over my face, thinking. Um, I'm never going to get anything done uh, but what you need to do is just come out to the workshop and get going on something and then suddenly um, you've done something and then in fact you've done something pretty big um, that seems to be the story of my life somehow I always find it very hard to start and then when I do I kind of do more than I expected to in many areas of existence so there we go including making mistakes but there we go hopefully I didn't make a mistake tonight all right bye then see you soon uh, more soon hopefully bye